السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته النهاردة حبايبي هنشوف فيديو عن عمايل بطاطس المهروسة بس على الطريقة الامريكاني مش انا اللي عاملاه خالص ده فيديو مش بتاعي من عالنت بس انا هقول لكم يعني هي عملت الطريقة ازاي دلوقتي دي المقدمة بتاعت البرنامج هتشرح ازاي هي هتعمل بطاطس المهروسة بتاعتها على طريقة هي هي بعد ما خلصت As far as the amounts that I'm using here, but I'll give you guys an estimated amount in the description area where you can find the full details for the recipe so you can screenshot it, print it out, make it comfortable for your home friends. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to cut our potatoes into smaller pieces. That way when we boil it, it boils quickly. We don't have to wait around that long. And you can use any potatoes that you have. Russet potatoes. You can't go over these nice red potatoes that I have. <laughs> Chopping, cutting, slicing. Cutting, slice. You're good at slicing. Well, you know, you guys ask me a lot about the knives. Make sure you look at the Amazon storefront because that's where I link most of the things that I do find that's available for you guys. Um, but I really like this knife because I am getting older and I do notice I have like arthritis in my hands. And this knife is sharp and very light. Because I have a few other knives that I use that are super heavy. Mm -hmm. Of course, not my, not my ninja one. <laughs> Yeah, that one. My one. Handle, right? that that one. one. Yes. It's wood. It's really light. The blade is uh, light and it chops everything I need. I mean, you guys saw how I went through that fish. All right. So I'm going to strain this water and I'll meet you guys at my stove so that we can go ahead and start boiling these potatoes. To your pot of boiling water, you want to add some salt, and I would say start with about half a, a teaspoon of salt, um, just so that we can start the flavor process for our potatoes, because you don't want them to be bland. So go ahead and add your potatoes, and they're going to cook pretty quickly, okay? So we're going to cook them about 10-15 minutes. Um, all you want to do is about 10 minutes, try to put a fork in it, and if it goes through, that means you're ready, just take them out, okay? So I'll see you guys when these are all done so that we can start preparing our delicious potato patties. Okay, I've drained my potatoes and now we're ready to mash them up. So go to town. You can mash them on your pan, but I think it's just easier for us in our setup on how I teach you how to do things to do it here. But at home, just do it in your pan and mash it up, okay? All right, forget this. I'm gonna go mash it on my pan and I'll see you guys shortly. Okay, bring your pan, bring your pan. Mash your potatoes in your pan. Bring your pushing up. Don't do that. He seemed happy though, so I was like, okay, I can take this if you're happy, but I'm not having manicured hands touch me. Hey, I'm human, I don't. I'm human and I'm very vintage-y. <laughs> and the only one that's gonna have polished hands it's gonna be me and actually because of all the learning I've done with nail polishes I don't even polish my nails really yeah it's very rare I have some uh, nail polishes you can use that are non-toxic and all that good stuff. well I did end up getting rid of all my nail polishes like yeah. my naughty ones and I have nothing but the good ones now but you're always in the kitchen so that makes sense I yeah guess. I can't have my nail polish getting into my food with my kids yeah. you know but you keep them um, trimmed and pretty yeah, I can't. It's like the older I get, the less I don't like. I like seeing long nails on all the other lovely ladies. Yes. And like all the bedazzled and gems and all the fun stuff they do, but I just can't do it. We used to get our nails done all the time, right? Yeah, girl, that was my thing, but I spend that money on other things like food. Yep. <laughs> okay. So once you've done that, go ahead and add your uh, seasoning blend. What I have here is it's gonna be in the description area. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not wasting your time right here, guys. You guys seem to be liking this a lot better. Mm-hmm. 
in the seasoning, like you're going to see that I used it's... onion powder and I didn't chop up fresh yeah, onion in here. You don't want any of the way. extra moisture in your potatoes when you're frying them because you want them to be super crispy and delicious. That's how it's going to work. So I'm going to recommend you guys use your favorite cheese. Uh, if you have teenagers, go ahead and give them the stretchy one. They can handle it. But the little ones, they don't need to bite into it and get burned, you know, and get hurt. So I'm going to use a Mexican cheese blend. You're so thoughtful. But when the boys are teenagers, I'm going to be like, you're going to get the gooey cheese. You're going to burn your mouth for mouthing off to me when you were like seven. <laughs> That's crazy that you know how to adjust that for them. Because I would just give them regular cheese even at that age. But I would wait for it to cool down a little bit. Um, but your kids eat piping hot food. They're selective about the piping hot food. Like yeah, Korean, food, Korean food, food, they can handle like crazy it's amounts of spices and they've gotten, they're slowly getting better at the Mexican style spice. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to be giving them Peruvian spice because that's wild. Oh my gosh, Peruvian That is on a so whole good. other level. We then I can make it? Mm-hmm. All right, so once you're done mixing all your ingredients, we're going to start forming our little patties, okay? Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to grab some of your... Potato. And if you get a little um, measuring cup, it's a little bit easier to scoop it out and form it into a little patty. And you want to make the patties as big as your family will enjoy them. I think I can go a little more. So monster size. Yeah. These are done a lot um, the day after Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. And um, it's just that depending on the mashed potatoes you get, that's the, that's what you have to work with. Because too much moisture with these tends to be a little bit. Mm. Oh, so you can use the mashed potatoes from Thanksgiving dinner? Is that what you're yep. saying? Oh, okay. As thick as you want. And if you mash it and you don't like to bite into your potato, the freshness um, you can mash it a little bit more to make them like really uh, mashed potato -y. so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and dip it in the egg okay. just a quick dip and to my seasoning I noticed that certain panko crumbs tend to be a little bland so I added some uh, chicken bouillon to it just a little sprinkle like if it was gonna be salt just Ooh, for an additional idea. flavor. Okay. It gives it a pretty color. Yeah, if you guys don't have panko crumbs, um, I grew up not using panko crumbs. We use breadcrumbs. But you're gonna notice that your oil, it's not gonna last you a long time. Wait, we also use the, the cornflakes. The cornflakes, yeah. <laughs> what do you call it, the cereal? Uh-huh. That was my mother's favorite cereal, guys. High five with that hand. <laughs> all right, so just make sure you coat all your little a potato cake and then Ooh. set it to the side right there so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna continue to make these and I'll see you when we're ready to fry you know we like to talk we're gonna make one more with you <laughs> okay so mash it up I'm excited to hear what you guys want to do this with you can do it with bacon in Little green onions in here. Ooh. Like Potato. When the ingredients were dry? Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Imagine if we would have had a pog like this when we were younger. We would have won all the games. If you guys are old like me, you know what pogs are. And if you don't, look it up. I know you guys think I have that fresh personality, but I'm really old. Use on the road, giving us homework. Today. Yeah. You guys don't know what I do to my sister to embarrass her, like if we're out in public, <laughs> I'll say something like, views on the road, everybody. And me, I'm like, I only have one control panel in my uh, voice box and that's loud. Well, if you guys really like mine and Cloud's shenanigans, I currently have my canola oil on a medium heat. So now we're gonna go ahead and check it. So you need to get a wooden spoon, a wooden chopstick, save it just for this purpose. And you don't wanna use plastic, you don't wanna use metal, okay? So if it bubbles up on the outsides of your spoon, you're ready to fry. And if you have a thermometer, you don't need this step, but it's pretty quick. That's how I preserve my oil, because I know a lot of people throw flour on it, but then the flour tends to burn your oil. Oh, okay. 
علشان تحطها في قلب الزيت Before I fry them, I just make sure to go like this a little bit, back and forth. Tortillar, how would you say this? Splashes, it splashes that way, but you want to be very careful, okay? Woo! Just like that. You already know. I'm going to skim it. Skim it. Finish it in the comments. You guys have been coming up with some great tunes. Okay. All right, same concept here. There you go. All you're doing is warming everything up. I'm looking for the golden color. Mm -hmm. It's so pretty. Yep. Just like a desert sunset. Nice and golden and bright. Apparently, I got an accent all of a sudden, guys. You know how to get to my to my heart. Mm -hmm. Or it could be good for you. Find yeah. the ones that are good for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you always want to hang out with people that bring out your good vibration. It grows. So, all right, this one's ready. Yeah, my 20 year old said don't count on it, mom. No grandkids yeah. for me. So I'm just putting it on a paper towel. All right, I'm ready to give this a taste. Need a little bit of my guacamaya. Girl, look that. 